How to use Synaptic Reader. Synaptic Reader is a screen reader for reading out Android screens and apps. It's automatically switched on when an Android screen or app displays and is a bit like Android's talkback but easier to use. There are three ways of using Synaptic Reader to move about the various headings, text and buttons on an app, website or Android screen. Firstly, by using the volume buttons on the edge of the device as navigation buttons. This is the recommended option. Secondly, by using swiping gestures on the screen. And thirdly, by using Explore by Touch. All three options can be used interchangeably, even on the same screen. Let's have a look at each of the three ways of using Synaptic Reader. Using Synaptic Reader with the volume buttons. Briefly press the volume down button to highlight and move to the next item on the screen. Sample Android app. Button 1 button. Button 2 button. A list of animals. Cats in list 7 items. Dogs. Horses. Cows. Sh sheep. Mice. Owls. Briefly press the volume up button to highlight and move to the previous item on the screen. Mice, sheep, cows, horses, dogs, cats, a list of animals out of list. Button 2 button, button 1 button, sample Android app. If the current item is a button or link, long press the volume down button for about a second to follow the link or press the button. Button 1 button, long press volume down to select. Message. Hello from button 1. OK button. If the current item is a text box, long press the volume down button for about a second to show the keyboard. Type your name below. First name edit box. Long press volume down to select. Change keyboard, multilingual typing, Gboard. The Android keyboard shows in the bottom half of the screen. Slide your finger over the keyboard to find a letter or number. Lift your finger off the screen to select and type that letter or number. A, A, D, D, as, A, A, Ada, M, M, Adam. When the keyboard is showing, pressing the volume up or down buttons will move the cursor about the typed text. A thud sound will play when you reach either the start or the end of the text. M, A. D. Capital A. Beginning of field. Capital A. D. A. M. End of field. To jump out of a text box to the previous or next item on the screen, long press either the volume up or volume down buttons. Type your name below. Using Synaptic Reader with gestures. Make a swiping gesture on the screen from left to right to highlight and read out the next item on the screen. Sample Android app. Button 1 button. Button 2 button. A list of animals. Cats in list 7 items. Dogs. Horses. Cows. Sh sheep. Mice. Owls. Make a swiping gesture on the screen from right to left to highlight and read out the previous item on the screen. Mice, sheep, cows, horses, dogs, cats, a list of animals out of list. Button 2 button, button 1 button, sample Android app. If the current item is a button or link that you want to press, either tap once directly on the item or double tap anywhere on the screen. Button 1 button. Message, hello from button 1. If the current item is a text box, double tap the screen to show the keyboard. First name edit box. Change keyboard, multilingual typing, Gboard. The Android keyboard shows on the bottom half of the screen. Slide your finger over the keyboard to find a letter or number. Lift your finger off the screen to select and type that letter or number. A, A, D. D as 
A A Ada M M Adam Using Synaptic Reader with Explore by Touch Keep your finger on the screen and slide it about. Each piece of text, heading, button or link will be described as your finger moves over it. Sample Android app Button 1 button Button 2 button A list of animals Cats in list 7 items Dogs Horses Use a combination of volume keys and gestures to press buttons, follow links and type text. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or need help with using Synaptic Reader, please contact us at help at synaptic.com.